Hey, what's going on everyone? In August 2019, Huawei officially announced its unified operating system, Harmony OS. Due to the US restrictions, the company decided to work on its own platform for Huawei devices. Naturally, questions arise about what Harmony OS is, how it works, what's the difference between Harmony OS and Android, and whether it can survive in the smartphone OS market when we have only Android and iOS. We will clear all your doubts one by one in this video. For your better understanding, we would recommend you to stay with us till the end of this video. My name is Sovik and welcome to Phone Politics. Let's get started. Before we jump right into the video, we would like to tell you something important. Almost 99% of you watching our videos have not subscribed to our channel. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button along with the bell icon to stay connected with us. Also please hit the like button if you find this video informative. A like will encourage us to make more exciting videos for you. So what is Harmony OS? Harmony OS also known as Hongming OS in China is an in-house operating system that Huawei has been working on since 2012. A small group of companies executive headed by founder Reng Henfei held a closed-door meeting to brainstorm ideas about reducing the company's dependency on Android. Considering the time, it was a clever move. But in 2019, the ban imposed by US government resulted in new Huawei devices losing support of Google services. This forced the company to bring those brainstorm ideas into reality and introduce the new Harmony OS to the world. Harmony OS is microkernel based operating system designed for use across all Huawei devices. Compared to monolithic kernel systems which is used for Android, microkernels are more modular making them light and flexible. By running only basic operations, they can leave everything else to the OS which makes them adaptable to use across various Internet of Things devices. Unlike Google and Apple who run different operating systems for different devices, Huawei started with a vision to have an operating system with cross-functional capabilities. So what devices can run Harmony OS? Harmony OS started the life on smart TVs with the company's sub-brand Honor Vision. It was also featured on various IoT devices. Initially, the company planned to launch the new OS in many smartphone devices, laptops and wearables. But that now has been revised to include smartphones and tablets with Harmony OS 2.0. The latest offerings with Harmony OS 2.0 include a series of tablets and wearables. The Huawei Mate 40 series, the Mate X2, Huawei Watch 3 series and Mate Pad Pro. The upcoming smartphones will likely include the new OS pre-installed while the other devices, the older ones launched with a limited Android versions will get an update to Harmony OS. Huawei also aims to feature Harmony OS on car head units, speakers and many other types of devices. By taking the approach of using single kernel across platforms, the company aims to create a unified ecosystem of different devices to save developers time. This will allow a developer to deploy one app across a smartwatch, tablet and maybe a speaker with a little extra effort. So the real concerning question is do Android apps run on Harmony OS? Without access to Google services, it's logical that you cannot use Google Apps on new Huawei devices running on Harmony OS. This includes the Google Play Store, Google Maps, Gmail and YouTube. Also any third-party apps that rely on Google mobile services for authentication won't work on the new OS. Huawei mobile services are a core feature of Harmony OS and a replacement for the Google services in Huawei devices moving forward. It comes with an app store called App Gallery instead of Google Play Store. Other apps include Huawei ID, Huawei Assistant, Huawei Music, and Huawei Cloud, all alternatives to traditional Android stock apps. Huawei Mobile Services also provides third-party developers with tools and services for creating their apps and releasing them on their platform. On the app development front, since most of the apps are built for Android and iOS, it's quite challenging to ensure a new OS is able to run them. Other companies like Microsoft with its Windows Phone OS and Samsung with its Tizen OS fail to overcome this problem while trying to create an Android alternative. However, Huawei has a solution in the form of a tool called Arc Compiler. 
Using the ARC compiler, developers can recreate Android apps for Harmony OS and the resulting app will compatible across all Huawei devices. As Google's all services are banned in China, it is a great option for the Chinese users but not very useful for the global users. So what makes Harmony OS different from Android and iOS? Huawei intended Harmony OS to be completely different from Android and iOS. With the new platform, the company aims to offer a more seamless experience than its competitors. Android and iOS are based on monolithic kernels where everything needed to run the system exists within the kernel itself. Harmony OS, as mentioned earlier, is a microkernel based operating system where the non essential operations are left to the other parts of the system. Running these as processes outside the kernel makes the OS more adaptable. Also, Huawei pitches its distributed technologies as more efficient than Android. With an improved multi platform capabilities, Harmony OS will allow you to run the same app on different devices. The new OS has also no root access making it more secure than Android. When it comes to privacy and security, Android often comes under fire, while iOS enjoys the loyalty of its users. The microkernel design of Harmony OS offers you enhanced security besides adding to the low latency of the framework design. So the final question arises here, can Harmony OS survive in a duopoly market? The smartphone operating system sphere is highly dominated by Google's Android and Apple's iOS. When compared to the failed attempts by Mozilla's Firefox OS, Amazon's Fire OS and Microsoft's Windows Phone to make a successful impact on the smartphone market, Huawei's decision to look beyond just smartphone is undoubtedly a savvy move. With Harmony OS, the Chinese tech giant aims not to compete with the current leaders in the smartphone market but to achieve lead integration with a variety of devices in the Internet of Things sector. As there is no ubiquitous operating system for IoT devices, Huawei has a huge potential to solidify its position there. However, due to US restrictions and the heavy inclination of smartphone users towards Android and iOS, Harmony OS has an uphill battle to compete in the smartphone market. It will be interesting to see whether Huawei's rapidly advancing new services strategies help it regain the foothold in the market. But according to a new report of GSM Arena, Harmony OS 2.0 reaches 90 million users. So that is all for today's video. If you have any question regarding Harmony OS, you can leave your comment in the comment section below. If you find this video informative, then a like will be appreciated. A like will encourage us to make more exciting videos for you. To support us further, please hit the subscribe button along with the bell icon. Also share this video with your friends. Our social media links are in the description. You can follow us from there. See you guys in the next video. Sayonara.